children once again i welcome you all for the science session in the session we will be uh, starting our uh, new chapter chapter number 10 reaching the age of adolescence in the last chapter we have learned about reproduction in animals isn't it what is reproduction reproduction is a process by which organisms generate new individuals of the same kind and reproduction is classified into two types namely asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction Ase uh, asexual reproduction is a reproduction in which only a single parent is involved and it takes place in hydra and amoeba in animals and sexual reproduction is a reproduction uh, which takes place by the fusion of male and female gametes it takes place in cow, uh, humans cow etc now what is the importance of reproduction in organisms we know that reproduction is a vital phenomenon on this planet earth which is essential for existence and continuity of life and species on it generation after generation so in order to have a continuity of life and in order to have different species on the planet earth reproduction in organisms is very very essential in uh, the previous chapter we have learned how animals reproduce that is animals reproduce only after growing up to a certain age isn't it that uh, human beings and many other animals can reproduce I mean human beings and many other animals can reproduce only after growing up to a certain age so one question arise why can humans and other animals they reproduce only after certain age so children in this chapter we will learn about the changes that takes place in the human body after which a person becomes capable of reproduction and in last chapter reproduction in animals we have also learned about human reproductive organs isn't it male reproductive organs and female reproductive organs here in this chapter we shall discuss about the role of hormones play in bringing about changes so that uh, it make the child grow into an adult isn't it so reproduction is possible only a uh, human being reaches certain age that is it undergo rapid changes so how these changes are brought about these changes in human beings are brought about mainly by hormones which play an important role to bring about uh, changes some changes that makes a child grow into an adult and in this chapter we are going to learn about different topics like first we will be learning about different stages of life then adolescence and puberty then we will be learning about different endocrine glands and their secretions so first let's start with different stages of life so as we uh, know that uh, Uh, human being it uh, we have different stages of life we can we have will be ha we we have infants that is infancy stage then childhood stage adolescent stage adulthood stage and then old age so these are all different stages of life now infancy stage it is a stage of growth of a uh, newborn baby baby from birth till 2 years we call that as infant 
we call them as infant and the stage we call is called as infancy stage so infancy is a stage of growth of baby from its birth to 2 years second stage it is the childhood stage stage of growth of child from 3 years to 12 years so till 12 years we call them as child children isn't it child so it includes stage of growth of child from 3 years to 12 years next stage is adolescent stage this stage is a period of transition transition means it changes period of transition from childhood to adulthood it occurs if this stage includes 13 to 19 years so adolescent stage is a period of transition from childhood to adulthood so you are all 13 years old isn't it now you are entering the period of uh, adolescence for children and next stage is adulthood stage adulthood stage it is a period between 20 to 40 years then old age it is a period above 40 years so these are all different stages of uh, human being and then we will be learning about puberty so what is puberty it is a period when sex hormones are produced in boy or girl in boy male sex hormones are produced and in girl female sex hormones are produced so that they become sexually mature so this period what we call that as puberty and boys they attain puberty at the age of 14 to 15 years so puberty means what the stage where may uh, sex hormones are produced so that they are uh, they become sexually mature when it happens in boys uh, this puberty stage uh, is uh, uh, it will be it will occur at the age of 14 to 15 years in girls uh, they attain puberty at the age of 11 years and this Uh, we call them uh, this teenagers changes in teenagers that is the adolescent we also call them as teenagers uh, what are all the changes occurring in this uh, teenagers increase in height change in body shape change in voice increased activity of sweat gland and development of sex organs production of hormones that is uh, sex hormones that stimulate gamete production gametes production we have learned male uh, reproductive organ they produce male gametes what we call that as uh, sperm isn't it the same way female uh, sex hormone or female reproductive organ they produce female gamete or ova or egg so how the male sex hormone male sex organ or female sex organ how they produce these gametes because of the stimulation of hormones hormones which stimulate these reproductive organs to produce gametes then this teenagers they become mentally emotionally mature so children these are all the changes that occur during adolescence or we call them as teenagers let us if you see a uh, increase in height there is a sudden increase in heights so during puberty hormones uh, signal the body to grow faster in boys the sudden uh, change increase in height it occurs at the age of 13 years and in girls it occurs at the age of 11 years so children now adolescence and puberty what it means uh, animals as well as human beings can reproduce only after certain age or only after certain time period in their lives after growing up into an adult why this happens this is because the changes in hormones in their bodies that make them capable of reproduction so uh, hormones sex hormones that secrete in human body makes the changes in our 
body so that uh, human beings can capable of reproduction so we know that growth begins from the day one uh, we are born but upon crossing the age of around 11 uh, there is a sudden spurt in growth that is sudden increase in growth which becomes noticeable the changes taking place in the bodies are part of growing up they indicate that you are no longer a child but you are on the way to becoming an adult we know that growing up is a natural process and the period of life when the body undergo changes leading to reproductive maturity is called adolescence so what is adolescence it is a period when the body undergo changes so that uh, it uh, leads to reproductive maturity is called as adolescence so adolescence begins around the age of 11 and it will last it will extend up to 18 or 19 years of age so since this period covers teens so 13 14 15 till 19 isn't it so this uh, period of teens so um, adolescence are also called as teenagers in girls this adolescence may begin year or two year earlier than in boys also the period of adolescence it varies from person to person it will not exactly start it may it varies from person to person one year one or two years um, before or one or two years later also it may occur and so adolescent period in boys uh, begins at the age of 11 years and it ends at the age of around 18 to 19 years in girls adolescent period begins at the age of 10 or 11 years and it ends at the age of 18 or 19 years here we can see that different stages of life in human being baby child then they enter the stage called adolescence then after attaining puberty that is once they are all the reproductive organs are fully matured whether when they are capable of reproduction they become an adult then at the final stage they become old isn't it children so in this uh, session we have learned about what is adolescence that is it is a time period in life when the body leads to reproductive maturity and we experiences some changes is called as adolescence and this time period may vary from individual to individuals the adolescence period it includes the teenage therefore adolescents are called as teenagers then uh, the when the human body undergo several changes during adolescence these changes mark the onset of puberty that is it makes it begins the stage called as puberty the most important change which marks puberty is that boys and girls become capable of reproduction puberty ends when an adolescent reaches reproductive maturity so what is puberty puberty is a time period in life when animals and human beings become capable of reproduction the changes that occur in the body during adolescent age or the individual uh, indication of an individual uh, is reaching puberty but children when the changes occur we call them uh, that period as adolescence and when uh, the uh, time period of uh, in which animals or human beings become capable of reproduction we call that as puberty 